Good evening everybody and once again welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah and in this video I'll essentially teach you how to write data quality or validation scripts uh, on AWS Glue. Now you have made an Apache Hoodie transactional data lake. Now how do you ensure that the, the, the data inside the, the, the lake is of good quality? Uh, so let's learn how to do that and uh, whenever the validation fails and uh, you know you could delete the data or you could contact the source team and say hey these are the data points where my validation script has failed do you want to see why we see an anomaly for an example let's take an uber so when there's a ride right a single car pa car cannot have more than four passengers does that make sense or probably if it's a big car yeah six or seven right but if you have the passenger as 30 or 100 that's probably the data is incorrect right so let's learn how we can do data quality and validation scripts in python on aws glue using a library called pydeq so let's get started so for this example you will be given a jupyter notebook uh, so click here on notebook click on upload choose the notebook you'll be given that on the uh, github section so simply upload the notebook and then you can start it I already have done that to save a little time on the video and I'm going to walk you over the steps here. So basically the first thing that we got to do is we need to create a data lake, right? So first we are going to create an Apache hoodie transactional data lake and then we are going to try to see how we can write data quality uh, scripts or validation script, right? So the first step of the process here is we need to go to the S3. Uh, over there cr uh, create a folder called jar and you will be given a jar file that you need to download download the jar file and upload it to s3 the name should be something like deq 2.0.0 spark 31 we are using spark 3 right I'm, I'm not using the older spark version i'm using the latest one and i'm gonna use glue 3.0 okay now uh, basically if you come here and i'll zoom in as much as i can here are the settings so here i have provided my external jar right and again don't worry as we progress on the video we'll essentially see how to automate how to write infrastructure code how to receive alert when something fails all that we will do but let's just go simple okay so here i'm saying hoodie connection right glue 3.0 uh, g1x five workers i gave the jar and i gave the spark conf right i've executed the cell um, again, here we are defining imports, nothing that I need to explain, just imports, right? Basically, here I'm creating a Spark session, so I don't need to explain anything here as well. I'll, I'll, I'll start explaining wherever it's needed. So here it's pretty straightforward. I'm just creating a Spark session. Now here we are going to create an Apache hoodie data lake. We are going to read the data from one of the public S3 bucket uh, over here. So this has some product reviews and we are going to read the data. We are going to create a transactional data, data lake uh, using Apache hoodie and then we are going to do some data quality check. So here basically I'm reading the data as Spark data frame over here. As you can see, I'm printing the schema. So this data has customer ID, review ID, product ID and so on, right? So here I'm going to create my Apache Hoodie data lake, right? So the database name is Hoodie DB, table name is reviews, record key that is basically a unique identifier in my data is UUID, precom key is used for dedupe purposes when a batch of incoming record comes, right? So I'm using customer ID there and I'm using absurd and I'm using copy on write. And this is the path where my data lake, um, my data would reside in the S3 bucket. Samil so Shah Hoodie demos is a bucket name and I want to put everything inside a folder called reviews. If I head over to the S3, I don't have any folder currently, so I'm going to execute with you. So again, these are pretty standard settings, right? We are using a hive sync so that we can query the data and run ad hoc queries using Athena, right? So I'm going to execute the cell. And now once uh, we have that, now I'm going to write the data uh, into the hoodie data lake. I'm, I'm converting my Spark data frame into a glue dynamic frame, and I'm using hoodie marketplace connector. Let's execute this cell. This cell might take about one to three minutes, depending upon how many workers you have configured. I have configured five workers, so I'm anticipating this to be done pretty soon. At this point, if I go to my S3 and if I refresh, I should see certain tables called reviews. And inside that I have my metadata and pretty soon I'll see my base file or the parquet file, which will be dumped by my uh, Spark job that is running. So again, I'm going to wait for this to complete and simply resume from that particular point. 
All right, the execution is complete up, took about a couple of minutes. And if I go to S3 and if I now refresh, I will see all my base file. Yeah, you can see hoodie essentially made my parquet or base file. These are hoodie metadata, right? Now at this point, uh, it has also done the sync with glue catalog, which means now I should be able to also run ad hoc queries, right? If I refresh and if I come here, I should see a table called reviews and I can come on preview table and here I'll see all the hoodie metadata and all my data points, right? Basically, now I can come and run ad hoc queries at this point. Great, that's great, fantastic. Now, uh, once we have the data, now let's see the data quality part. So now, again, we have the data in the data lake, we can run ad hoc queries, great. Now let's, let's basically explore data validation and data quality scripts. Uh, you can use a library called PyDeq. Uh, again, uh, it's built on the top of PySpark, right? You can uh, Google this up pretty quickly. So I just wanna show you uh, without wasting any further time. If you come to PyDeq, and here you can see that's that's how it looks like, right? You have profilers, analyzer, checks. Again, don't don't worry about all these complicated uh, terms if you are new. Uh, fo let's focus, right? So again, now um, again we have the data in the data lake. Now let's see how we can write data quality scripts. Basically, let's validate if the data is of good quality, right? So uh, again, sharing my screen. So now what I'm doing is I'm reading the data from the data lake as a glue data frame. And then here I'm converting that into a Spark data frame, right? So I'm gonna execute the cell. This cell is reading the data from hoodie tables and converting into a Spark data frame. Now here I have a very simple uh, validation check. So this basically checks uh, the data quality here. So let's observe together, okay? From PyDeq you check, import everything. From PyDeq you verification, import everything. Now here, what we are saying is verification suit. We are passing in the Spark instance and we are gonna perform that verification on this Spark data frame. DF stands for data frame. Now add check means I wanna add checks, right? So here I'm saying check the size. So I wanna make sure that if my data side is uh, less than this number, it would mark that as fail. Now it's pretty, explanatory, right? If you have a rating, the rating cannot go beyond one, right? One to five is the rating, right? So I'm check, checking that, uh, you know, check for a check if the rating is equal to equal to one. If anything you find less than one, that's probably an anomaly, right? Similarly, same for max rating over here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Then I'm saying is complete. I'm, I wanna check uh, if I have any null values on that. So I'm basically checking if it's complete, right? Completeness of the data. I'm also checking the uniqueness over here, right? And then I have a column called marketplace. So I wanna check, uh, again, marketplace is US, UK, uh, France. If I find any other value than these, it's probably an anomaly, right? And then year, right? A year cannot be a negative, right? 2022, 2023, it cannot be negative, right? So I'm basically adding all these checks. You can of course add more and more, but let's keep things pretty straightforward for this demo purposes. And then after that, what I'm doing is I'm essentially printing the data frame object. So let's see what the output looks like. So now this cell is being executed right now. And again, it might take about a minute or two, depending upon how many workers you have configured. So let's wait. Should be done in a second or two, hopefully. All right, it's done. And now here you can see um, here everywhere it says success. And at what particular, uh, uh, what particular basically validation failed. So here you can see the uniqueness constraint failed. It gives you a status and here it gives you the constraint message as well. Uh, you can also see, uh, for example, success matrix, right? I'm essentially uh, showing you as a da data frame here. So if I execute the cell here, you can see column review ID, the completeness is about 100%, which means I don't have any null values, which makes sense, right? Uh, star rating minimum, uh, uh, Minimum value that is one. Again, uh, you know, these are all the validation that uh, was a success, right? Similarly, you can also see the one that did fail, right? So basically what you see now, if you observe also the GitHub, um, the repository, right? You can try these code out. Here you can see the author shows how to create a very simple data frame, right? Uh, author also shows you uh, over here, right? Is unique, is complete, right? Is containing, right? Um, uh, right, so basically you can do all these checks, right, on your data. Now, once you have these checks, right, uh, now you can act upon your data, which means now if you found 
anomaly, let's say an abnormal rating, let's say 100. That's not possible, right? You can contact the source of the data and say, hey, can you check in your database or whatever that is? I see this record 100 doesn't make sense to me. And then based upon feedbacks, then you can perform a delete on the data lake. Apache Hoodie supports, it's a transaction data lake. So you can update, you can delete, you can do all that stuff on Apache Hoodie. Uh, I hope this video gave you a good overall idea on how to get started uh, with um, data quality scripts uh, using PySpark Glue, right? Um, in upcoming videos, we'll learn how to write infrastructure code and anytime the quality fails, how we can essentially send alerts, right? Um, also, if you have a massive data lake, right, what you can do is you can run one time the data quality check and then moving forward, you can run incremental queries in Apache Hoodie. That's, that's, that's where the hoodie shines, right? Now, uh, any, uh, any data that's coming forward in data lake, now you're gonna run incremental queries and then basically run data, data quality checks. Now, depending upon use case as well, you can mark the job as fail, or if you don't wanna insert, if the quality fails, you can do that as well. Again, depends upon various use case, uh, uh, how you wanna approach that. All I wanted to do is give you a high level idea in this video and I hope uh, you have enjoyed this video. The entire source code can be found on my GitHub section, the Jupyter Notebook. So please try it out. And if you have any question, let me know your question in the comment section. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, and I'll see you guys in the upcoming next video.